Okay, so now we're gonna go into draping. So in this video, we're gonna be covering some of the basic tools that are involved in draping. We're also gonna be covering the basic techniques to get you started. One of them being how to prepare your dress form for a drape. We're also gonna cover flounces and then proceed into part two where we cover how to drape a basic shift dress and then a basic bias dress. So let's get started. To get us started, we're just going to compile all the tools and equipment that is required in order for us to get started during our draping process. The first piece I have here is a piece of muslin cut into a square, and it's just big enough for me to use for my half scale dress form. So this is just unbleached cotton muslin that I'm going to be using. The next thing I'm going to be using is my magnetic pin holder and it's just a great and efficient way to hold my pins so that I don't have to keep picking them up and searching around for the pins. If they fall on the floor, this helps to pick them up. Then just a standard pair of scissors, a pencil I can use for drafting and marking, another drafting and marking pencil in a different color so I can make those adjustments, standard measuring tape which is always very helpful. My half scale dress form. Now you may have a half scale dress form, you may have a full scale dress form, whatever you can use for dra draping and drafting usually requires a dress form. You can also drape on your own body with a mirror. It's a little bit more tricky and requires a lot more practice, but it's definitely something you can do as you wait to decide if you're going to actually purchase a dress form of any kind. The last tool that you're going to need is going to be drafting tape. And it's also called style tape. And it's what we use in dressmaking to create styles and designs on our dress form that we then take the muslin and place on top and trace the lines of those designs so that it's easier for us to see what we are creating. Now you can buy style tape in any sewing store and they even sell them on Amazon and it basically adheres to your dress form. I use it instead of using ribbon or rope because I like the fact that it lays flat and it's easy for me to remove. Uh, and those are just basically all the supplies that you would need to sort of get yourself started in drafting and draping on a dress form. Um, so we'll be moving on to see some of the ways that we apply those techniques using these tools. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more.